Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to our channel. Here we are doing another tarot lesson, and we're going to be dealing today with the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is a very powerful and uh, very mysterious card as it carries a lot of information that as you practice and you learn the cards, um, you will come to realize that it has many different um, information that could um, be expressed to you through intuition. Um, it is a very intuitive card. It is all to do with the esoteric, the spiritual, uh, the subconscious. Um, and again, like I said, it's, I can't stress this enough. It is a very, very uh, important card um, in the major arcana that represents our spirituality and that of the conscious and unconscious um, state of mind. It is the planetary trump of the moon. Um, for those of you guys that already deal with the tarot, uh, you're probably wondering or asking why would it represent the moon when in the major arcana we also have another card that is represented, uh, represented as the moon and depicted in imagery as the moon. But the moon card in the major arcana is a representation of the Pisces zodiac sign. So the high priestess is, in essence, the representation of the moon. <clears throat> the tree of life path number 13. It is, like I said, a very important, very probably one of the most spiritual cards um, in the tarot. It is the divine uh, feminine energy. It is represented as the number two. Uh, and if you guys know, the number twos always speak about duality and the dual realms, which uh, the high priestess is connected to. Words that are associated with this card is insight, intelligence, expertise, knowledge, intuition, psychic ability, clairvoyance, foreknowing, secrets, and higher learning. It is connected to the conscious and subconscious mind. It is a card that represents the world is not always as it seems because of the duality that it carries. A heightened awareness of information. It is the magician. Magician is knowledge through action. And here with the high priestess, it favors personal development through exercise of the mind. A woman is sitting between two pillars, as you can see here in all the cards, one black and one white, representing mystery. To peek behind the veil, one must obtain the keys that unlocks wisdom to understand the symbols, the hall of wisdom. It is a powerful card, that's why it comes right after the magician that carries deep meaning and authority. It represents the connection to the spirit realm. It serves as a threshold that separates this realm from that of the esoteric, the mystical, the spiritual. She is spiritually divine, when it shows up in a reading, it's time to ask ourselves the bigger questions, the deeper questions. Are you listening to your intuition or are you ignoring your intuition? In essence, the high priestess honors both the masculine and feminine energies because of the number two. Again, we speak about duality here. 
while maintaining both identities. The two pillars, black and white opposites, are a representation of the need for contrast in order to create, form, and establish, which brings us balance rather than seeing things as left or right, black or white. The moon crown in all cultures is associated with the feminine energy, mystery, and psychic abilities. If you can see in her crown, it has the depiction of the waxing, the full moon, and the waning moon, the never-ending cycles of birth, life, and death. It is the archetype of the maiden, mother, and crone, the veil representing the world's non-physical planes beyond the material. The blue robe is an active and passive forces as higher learning, and the hands are always shown now, the hands, if you guys know, or if you don't, historically, it is known as the points of transmission. This is giving and receiving both energetically and physically, which is why all aces in the tarot have a hand that is depicted in the imagery. The high priestess lives between worlds, energy and matter, good and evil, spiritual and physical. It also carries a scroll of divine law, representing science, religion, tradition. Probably the highest, most spiritual card in the tarot, like I had mentioned initially. Um, it is a representation of someone with a pure heart. Your intuition and guide. It is the consort of the hierophant and the feminine of the magician. The high priestess is the keeper of all knowledge, the esoteric knowledge, spiritual knowledge, which is why it is represented as the keeper of secrets. She has all of the answers if you listen to them. Information she has surpasses beyond words. So she pushes you to trust and follow your intuition. Higher power Right now, you are in a path of enlightenment whenever she shows up. She is the manifestation of the desires of the magician. She is the one that is connected through force between heaven and earth to bless you and your will. She can see through, read thoughts, and see what the past and future will be. This is why it is very connected to clairvoyance energy. Whenever this card shows up, it usually indicates that you are on a spiritual path or on a spiritual journey. For some, it may represent that there is a guide or someone that you go to for sound advice that is very intuitive, that can see beyond someone that is going to give you clear insight, a deeper understanding and that is able to step back from the situation and truly analyze from many different aspects to be able to give you the best advice possible. The high priestess is holding on to the Torah, which is an anagram for tarot, amongst other many things. It represents the hidden spiritual law that has been passed for eons. She is placed between the pillars of Saloma, Boaz, and Yashim, pillars to Solomon's temple. Above her crown, it is Isis, which is also a reference to the Virgin Mary and the sacred feminine. Behind her, the tree of life on the veil, which is a representation of the Kabbalistic blueprint of the universe and the soul. The moon at her feet is a reference to a chapter in Revelations. If you look behind her, you'll notice a body of water. Uh, and this is the collective unconscious and consciousness. The infinite consciousness that actually pours into each and every single one of us. It is in many uh, cards of the tarot 
that are depicted or represented as female energies. Usually they will come or you will see those cards and they are looking away or you'll see the profile of their face. But in this card, she is looking directly at you. There is nothing that you can hide or keep away from. There is nothing that she is not able to tap into, to read you, to understand people's intuitions and behaviors. This is a very powerful card. It is a card that will speak to you volumes as you progress your learning with the tarot and as you continue to uh, practice and do readings for yourself or for others. She always has something new to show you, something new to reveal to you. But it comes down to being open, to open your heart up to the possibilities and to listen to your intuition, not to doubt yourself. Whenever you see this card, know that its ultimate representation is I am knowing. The high priestess is looking straight ahead. We don't get her profile. We get to look her right in the eyes. We have to be brave. Sometimes that could be a little jarring <laughs> when someone is reading for you and telling you your story or you are telling someone's story, it could be sometimes uncomfortable. The, way, the best way to get the answers is to ask the hard questions. It's not always comfy either. Think of what you do when you're made physically uncomfortable. You shift your weight or you change a position because you're uncomfortable. The high priestess represents the seeing through anything that is deception, anything that is deceiving, or anything that is wanting to remain in the shadows. So this could be, like I said, a very uh, challenging card, um, depending on the type of reading that you're doing. When you're made emotionally or spiritually uncomfortable, you do the same thing with your life and your thought process. The crescent moon at her feet the moon on her crown, the moon in the tarot is intuition. There is a great sea in the background of this card. If you really look, you can see that there is a body of water and water in the tarot always represents emotions and feelings. When it is the entire sea, instead of the trickle of water, we see with some other cards as we progress in this learning, the card will hold much more stronger human emotion. The curtain is drawn and only the high priestess stands between you and that curtain. I get a very strong feeling that she'd slap someone if you try to peek without permission. Um, she's definitely the keeper of secrets. She decides who sees behind the veil. She's a deeply mysterious card and represents calm, patience, and hard work. When this card services in a reading, she is warm and welcoming, yet stern and judging, kind and compassionate. She encourages you to be authentic and whole. She wants you to look harder, ask questions, and dig, dig deep. This card is uh, very fascinating. Throughout the years, um, I cannot tell you, uh, the many things that it has revealed to me uh, in tarot readings and when dealing with clients. Um, it's almost like she will speak to you or give to you more knowledge, more wisdom, more understanding as you progress, as you continue to become more aware, as you become more wiser. Um, it's a never ending learning with this card. So I highly encourage you guys to really meditate when dealing with this card um, to try to intuitively pick up on the energy and the message that is conveying to you. There is proper etiquette to asking the universe questions. You have to do your homework. You have to show respect or she just might close the curtain and send you on your way. 
She isn't really a mother archetype, but more of a visionary. This is a card for tarot readers and wise women or men. When you think of the high priestess, think of the, the oracles or the women and men that would attend to the sacred temples. Um, not anyone would be able to go in there. Not anyone would be able to be a witness to the rituals, to the part of the esoteric when it comes to spirituality. It is the understanding that there are levels to our awareness. And as we progress in this thing that we call life and we grow, like I said, more wiser, what more mature, more experienced, um, you get to fully be able to not only open yourself up to major information that she could um, reveal to you, but again, when this card shows up, just know and understand that whatever it is that is being hidden or that is ultimately the doubts that you may have, she's encouraging you to listen to your intuition, to pay attention to your gut feeling, to trust and know yourself. Um, because all the answers are within ourselves. Sometimes we become blind to certain situations and circumstances, and we often have a tendency of asking the same question because you're not able to remove yourself from that situation because you're very emotionally connected to it. Um, so with this card, what it's telling you is that you have all those answers. You know the answer to your question. You just have to learn to trust what your intuition is telling you to be able to better decipher or better understand why you're feeling through your intuition, um, removing yourself from ego, being able to fully receive the message or to fully embrace the truth that is within you. This is a very powerful card. I can't stress that enough. It is a beautiful card. When you're doing a reading and you're on a spiritual journey or you have a spiritual question, whenever she shows up, just know that what she's trying to communicate to you is that you have all those answers within yourself to trust yourself, listen to your intuition, and more than anything to understand that you are not separate from the spiritual. You are physical and spiritual. You are much like the high priestess with, she has one foot in the physical and another foot in the spiritual, being able to connect, being able to get spiritual downloads, being able to um, connect with your spirit guides, with your ancestors, your archangels, as well as being able to uh, bring or jump timelines to manifest that which your heart desires. So again, I hope that this gives you some type of understanding. I hope that um, this helped you in understanding the high priestess a little bit better. Um, if you guys like these lessons, don't forget to comment below, like, share, and subscribe. I want to wish you guys all the best. Happy 2022, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, my lovelies. We'll see each other soon. Bye.